After a full first day of our weekend getaway in the Outer Banks, enjoying the oceans of Currituck, as well as exploring the maritime forest, where we were blessed to have an amazing wild horse encounter deep in the forest while hiking, without spending a dime on one of the expensive Kerala wild horse tours. We had all worked up a pretty decent appetite that needed some attention. How are you feeling, Ruth? Good, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> We're definitely going to be working up an appetite. Now, Reese has been not so carefully reminding us all day long that her cravings for crab legs was real and would need to be fulfilled soon. Think how good those crab legs are going to be, Reese. You know? Dipping them in the hot butter. Okay, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it's like the reward at the end of a long day of good old hiking rewarding yourself with a good seaside meal. Something as her dad, I knew I had to come through with. And of course, Sarah and I are always big on some good old fish and chips. Under the cover of night, driving through Nags Head, we came across a prominent sign that easily read the name of a seafood restaurant. It seemed like the perfect stop to fill our stomachs during a nearly oceanfront evening spent in the Outer Banks. Red Drum Grill and Tap House apparently has been feeding locals and visitors to the area for over two decades. Founded in 1998 by Chef Craig Erickson and Brian Brown, they named the restaurant after the well-known and popular Red Drum Fish found local to the Outer Banks. After arriving and quickly being seated, I had a quick spin through their menu selections and found they had a lot of options to pick from. We're at the Red Drum in Nags Head. And here's a look at their menu. We've got starters, wings and nachos, chili con queso, fresh, fresh stuff jalapenos, calamari, hot stickers, BOFF, which is a basket of french fries, soups and salads. Things like a Red Drum Chowder, house salad, Caesar house salads. We've got steamed seafood, middle neck clams, spiced steamed shrimp. What Reese got? What'd you get, Reese? Crab legs. What? Reese got the snow crab legs, a half pound with a basket of French fries. There's oysters, veggie platters, shrimp and veggie platters, combination seafood platters, and low country boil. You didn't see that, did you? A ball? Like a ball that you eat out of? So that's a bowl. And then this is the bowl. Bowl? Yeah. Low country bowl? Reese also likes some low country boil. They've got New York strips, ribeyes, ribs, apple chops, pesto chicken, Hawaiian jerk chicken, and then tap house seafood includes blackened tuna, crab meat and tuna, tap house salmon, mixed seafood saute, a seafood jambalaya. Low Country Shrimp and Grits, and a Tap House Seafood Trio. And you can also get a fried seafood option with shrimp, oyster and scallop dinner, as well as the combo platter for $27.99. It looks like Red Drum posts some dinner specials at the bottom of their menu here. We got the golden fried pair of soft shell crabs, a flat iron seared mahi-mahi, and tonight as well, a grilled tuna steak. And of course, they've got the light dinner fare with some burgers and sandwiches, as well as some tap house specials like me and Sarah went with, the fish and chips. They've also got a game fish burrito, a chicken quesadilla, a shrimp quesadilla, caprice or focaccia, and another one of Reese's favorites, the mac and cheese. Kids baskets as well with a grilled cheese, a kid shrimp, chicken tenders, and a kid's pasta. Sarah and I always explore the menu, toying with the idea of making a different selection. Call us seaside creatures of habit. We love our fish and chips and enjoy having them at different places when craving a seafood dining experience on our travels. Reese is sporting her new, show them your shirt, Reese. OBX tie-dye shirt from the Super Wings. Red Drum had a relaxing and casual environment. We were there later in the evening, and its patrons dined happily, 
while the merry sounds of the front of the house bar area that serves up 18 different ales on tap ring throughout the small seaside clad dining room. For those seeking out more than just the local catch of the day, Red Drum Grill and Tap House also has a backroom lounge and game room that will keep fuzzy seafarers happy and warm with billiards play and foosball fun time. Fish and chips? Oh, yeah. Dinner was quickly served, and our pleasantly appealing seafood platters now lied before us. Are you done with that or are you taking a picture? Yeah, I'm taking a picture. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the fish and chips of the coleslaw, and the tartar sauce. That looks delicious. Reese has got a big basket of french fries, and Dad immediately gets a sample of french fry. Sarah's fish and chips. That was really fast. All at Red Drum. Can I have some slices of lemon, please? Open it up. Reese's half pound of snow crab legs that she's been anxiously awaiting all weekend long, and now she's got them. She was not going to let her dad slide. And where's the hot golden butter? Ah, not too shabby for a half pound. She had to settle for a half pound, but she's got a basket of or a bowl of French fries, so she'll she'll be all right. When this kid was younger, man, was it difficult to show her how to eat crab legs. Of course, I don't know if I've ever got the hang of it. Now she barely needs a seafood cracker or a crab bib. She's all business unveiling all that delicious crab meat she's been longing for. Ah, she's the master of the crab leg. Sarah? What? How's it taste? <laughs> Like, it's just really good. So not super heavy? Yeah, not like, it's yeah. just more like deep fun. It's a really good piece of fish here. Pretty decent size. Nice and flaky. Let's try it out. First bite of the fish and chips here. It's good. Good batter on the fish. Fish is just so, just the right amount of batter and crispiness to the point where it doesn't make you feel like you're eating just like a big piece of fried fish. It's battered, I guess, kind of lightly. Delicious. Coleslaw tastes delicious. It doesn't taste like it's mayonnaise based. It has a little bit in it, but it has like a vinegar tinge to it. Really good aftertaste. Tastes fresh. So I, I definitely like the uh, coleslaw. French fries are good. And if you really like fish and chips, you know you got to go with the, uh, the malt vinegar on top. Good old malt vinegar. some really cool restaurant decor here. It's the bill for a seaside shanty restaurant. Someone didn't bring a happy plate. No happy plate for Sarah. <laughs> Alright, so my first impression of dinner at Red Drums in Nags Head, North Carolina is it's absolutely delicious. I would definitely recommend it. Excellent fish and chips, not an overly fried taste to the fish. Um, lightly battered, almost tastes like the fish and chips are baked. A very fast service, pretty nice waitresses. Uh, didn't really have to wait long to get in. And, uh, 
we're definitely enjoying dinner in Nags Head, and we would recommend to you to come check out Red Drum Grill Tap House in Nags Head, North Carolina. Now, Reese, the people want to know, would you recommend Red Drum Grill and Tap House to visitors of Nags Head, North Carolina? <laughs> oh, yeah, because the crap one. You're making them look awfully good over there. You've knocked out a half a pound in like two minutes. So, big thumbs up or thumbs down? You heard it right there from Maurice. Thumbs up for Red Drum. A memorable and exciting first day of our family weekend getaway to the Outer Banks. Ended well with full tummies and already plenty of moments to sift through in our minds. There's the end story for Reese and her. Crab legs and red drum. She's holding on to what she can get. She's going, Reese, you don't need the butter. <laughs> we pulled in an excellent catch finding Red Drum Grill and Tap House in Nags Head. If you're looking for a worthy seafood joint in the Outer Banks, consider dropping in. For us, now it was time to head back to our evening bungalow to catch up on some rest before venturing out tomorrow on our next quest. One that is set on the nearby coastal plains of Eastern North Carolina, just a short drive from the Outer Banks, and home to one of our most favorite animal species. You know, I'm not talking about sea creatures. If you like seeing black bears in the wild, you're not gonna wanna miss this one.